Google Camera 7.0 by Sanity on the Xiaomi Poco F1. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have a look at Google Camera 7.0 by Sanity running on the Xiaomi Poco F1 which is running MIUI version 10.3.8.0 based on Android 9.0 Pi. This APK is almost perfect. It's not perfect. I would call it almost perfect. Where do you grab this APK? I have linked the APK in the description of this video and I will also mention it as a pinned comment on this video. Once you install the application and you open it, you will notice that you do have the new UI wherein the options are at the bottom and your viewfinder and shutter button are on top if you click on more you will have the other options and in case you want to access the settings you can either swipe down or you can tap on this arrow and then you will have the settings icon click on this and we will enter the settings we have toggles for save location camera sounds camera coaching google lens suggestions gestures whether you want a grid type or not and if we go into advanced you have the dirty lens warning save selfie as previewed yes peeps works like a boss absolutely like a boss then you have hdr plus control raw plus jpeg control and store videos efficiently if we go back you have the options for photograph resolution now google has removed the megapixels so you have options of full resolution and medium resolution i'm not sure whether the final build will have the megapixels or not but this leaked build does not have the megapixels for video i recommend that you use xiaomi's miui camera let's go back and we'll first check out night sight so night sight works like a boss from the front camera and from the rear camera now if you tap on this arrow you'll get all the other options you have the option of timer and then you have focus so in focus you have four options auto near far and infinity this infinity is the astro photography now in my case i did not have stars when i was trying out this infinity mode but here's a comparison picture of the infinity mode versus the normal mode with the flash off you can see what infinity mode did personally i think it is pretty impressive but you know your results may vary and you might not think it is impressive enough next up we have portrait mode so portrait mode works from the front camera from the rear camera and your selfies are saved as previewed so you will no longer have flipped images as long as you have the toggle which i showed you earlier it is turned on again if you tap down you have different options you have the option of timer flash and the ratio also if you tap you get the icon of zoom so you can choose between 1x to 5.3x zoom and you can also choose your exposure and once you are at a specific exposure you can log it in using the log icon then we have camera your normal camera mode again all the various options hdr plus on or off you have a toggle for that timer flash ratio again if you tap on the viewfinder you have the option of zoom in zoom out and your autofocus and auto exposure slider on the side with the option of locking it in once you come to your desired autofocus and auto exposure as i mentioned earlier for video i suggest that you use xiaomi's miui camera and if we go into mode, you have panorama mode. This works absolutely fine. We'll go over to panorama and see what all options you have. You have only two options. One is your audio recording on or off and second is the gear icon for settings menu. Next up, we have photosphere. This also works absolutely fine. So we'll go into photos. This here is the panorama mode picture which I took and here is your photosphere. So these two options are working absolutely fine. Then in mode, you have slow motion. Slow motion also works absolutely fine. We can give it a try right now. The only downside is that you have only one by eight X slow motion. So let me bring in my fidget spinner into the picture. So here is our fidget spinner. We'll give it a little spin, click on the record button and bam, it is recording. And then we can press on the stop button and have a look at the video playback. So we'll have to open the photos application. And then this is the video which we just recorded. There it is, you can see working like a boss absolutely fine no issues to report at all then in more you have the next option is time lapse oh man time lapse works absolutely fine and again it will tell you when to use 
time lapse speeds so 1x is your normal speed then 5x is good for lively groups 10x is good for walking 30x is good for busy sports and then 120x is good for sunsets of course if you tap you have the option of zooming in and zoom out and the good part is you can zoom in and zoom out while you are recording your time lapse and of course you can change your autofocus and auto exposure and then lock it in in place as well so this option is also working absolutely fine and then last but not the least in more we have lens so let me bring my fidget spinner into the building one more time and then we can try out google lens just tap on it and see what google lens says there it is it detected it is a fidget spinner so you can see that google lens is also working absolutely fine now why do i call this build almost perfect well for one you do not have the option of lens blur that is missing and then with google lens you still have the old version of google lens you do not have the newer version which lets you translate stuff right off what is written or you know the one which shows you popular items when you point it at a menu of any place you're eating out at so those are the only two downsides which i think are present in this build but you know once we have the google pixel 4 release and then you have a proper apk from the pixel 4 system dump we will have more options and everything should be back to what it is right now on google camera 6.2 so there it is peeps that is our look at google camera 7.0 by sanity running like a boss on the xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video peeps i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you